It was a snowy day like this one when well-liked and very much respected Toledo Mayor D. Michael Collins was out checking road conditions and had a medical event that ended his life. But he lived a life of service as a police officer, mayor, and blood donor. Ignacio Messina of the City of Toledo is with us this morning with how everybody can honor this great Toledo. And good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning, Amanda. Thank you. Uh, you know, the, this is something that has it been five, six years uh, since the mayor passed away? That's right, six years. And that's how how long, it, you know, five years that we've been doing this blood drive, is that correct? Correct, and you know, we're really happy to host this every year. It's, we usually have a great turnout. We're a little concerned about the weather this year, but we're really encouraging everyone to come and donate blood in the mayor's honor. You know, I knew Mayor Collins pretty well, and I think that he would be really touched that so many people have come out year after year to donate blood. This was something that was important to him, and he was a blood donor and did it very regularly, right? Right, him and his wife were, um, they thought that this was an important thing to do every year. I know he did it regularly. Uh, Mayor Caps Cavage makes a habit of going to this blood drive every year, and I know he will be there Wednesday afternoon to donate blood too. And this is happening from 9 to 3 on Wednesday, um, and you're asking folks to get online and register for a slot, is that correct? Right, it's 9 to 3 at the Toledo Police Patrolman's Association Hall, 1947 Franklin Avenue. You can go online to the American Red Cross website, you can go to the city's Facebook page and you can register ahead of time. Uh, that'll speed up the process or you can register on site. If you've had the COVID-19 vaccine, please be aware of what manufacturer you've had because uh, they're asking for that information and all the donations are being tested for the COVID-19 uh, antibodies. So maybe if you've had COVID-19 previously, you can find out if you still have some of those antibodies uh, to protect you. And, and that's something that the American Red Cross does with, with their donations. Correct. So uh, how many people have you generally seen come out uh, to this year after year to donate blood? As you said, it's been a pretty good turnout, right? You know, it varies. We've had from 25 to 60 people. Uh, I think last year we had about 50 people come and donate blood. 50 people is our goal. Right now we only have nine people registered, uh, which is not uncommon because a lot of people come the day of and register, but we'd really like to see 50 or 60 people come and donate blood on Wednesday. Why is this so important for people, you know, to kind of roll up their sleeves and say, you know what, um, I'm going to do this. I may not like needles so much, um, uh, but why is it so important for people? people to donate blood? You know, it doesn't really hurt. I've done it many times, it doesn't <laughs> really hurt. But uh, there is always a need, but particularly right now, the American Red Cross has told me that they are in need of donations now. Uh, we see spikes for the need in the winter time when you have more accidents. So really, the need is always critical, but I think there is an extra need right now. And as you said, a uh, little we're nervous about the weather on Wednesday, but don't let that stop you because it's, you know, weather like this uh, that we're experiencing, that's when we're seeing a great need. Exactly. Like, there's weather like this that, you know, is a contributing factor to the need for blood donations. Uh, luckily, we think the storm will be hopefully over by then. And uh, the road should be clear for you to get down there. We should be in between storms at that point. <laughs> I'm expecting some more a little bit later this week, but hopefully in between those storms. So um, get online again and get registered so you guys have an idea of uh, who's coming and when they're going to be coming. And if we could pop that information back up on our screen quick so that you could see the address there and the code. Mayor Collins is the code that folks need to put in. Right. That's correct. Mayor Collins, uh, if you have any questions, you can call that number on the screen, 800 Red Cross. Uh, you can also call the city of Toledo at 419-936-2020. We have all the information for you at Engage Toledo. All right, Ignacio, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yep, take care.